Okay, let's continue guys, right? So I have uh, destroyed and um, let's have something fun here, okay? Let's say for the constructor, whenever uh, an object is being created, I'm going to write created. And whenever it is being uh, destroyed, I'll put the destroy. okay? So let's test one object, okay? And we call it... Uh, open close say one right okay i'm gonna send over an integer and a string and i'm gonna run this program you can see that it will say that c out one and one uh created and then right after the end of main then one and one it will be destroyed okay so let's run the program and see oops sorry i have some error uh, oh, sorry, semicolon. Thank you. All right. So, can you see that? Okay, one and one created and one and one destroyed. Okay. And this is what we call an automatic object. Okay, I can create another one. Okay. And I'm going to put two. Okay, here's the thing you must know. When objects are being destroyed, they are destroyed in a last in, first out. Last in, first out fashion. Which means I create one first and then I create two. But when I destroy them, I'll destroy two first. Then I'll destroy one because two is created later than one. Last in, first out. Okay, so let's run this program and you will see. Oops, sorry. Uh, two, two. Okay, sorry. I have to change this to two. Okay, and run the program. All right, can you see that? One is created, two is created, two destroyed first, then only one destroyed. Last in first half. Okay, but that doesn't happen to static. C. I have another object and I call it three and this is three and three okay but if static two is static okay right static will maintain that object to be destroyed last despite uh, whatever it is so you can see the sequence here I'm going to create one I'm going to create two which is a static and I'm going to create three, okay? But I'm going to destroy them in a last in, first out fashion. First, I'll destroy three, agree? But I cannot destroy two first because, because it is static. It will be maintained until the end of the program. So when I destroy, I will destroy three first, and then I destroy one, and then I destroy two. And if I run this program, you will see what I mean. Right. Can you see that? One created, two created, three created in sequence, right? No problem. When it is being destroyed, last in first out, three will be destroyed first. And then one will be destroyed because two is static. We have to keep it until the end of the program. And once one has been destroyed, it will go to the end of the program and then it will destroy two. And therefore, it is very important for you to know uh, the differences between static object and also uh, automatic object. Okay, I can do more experiment here. Okay, and let's do something weird. I'm going to do a global object. Okay, and you should know that if this is global object, by default, it has to be static, even if I don't put static in front of it. I'm going to call it zero. Okay, zero and zero. Okay, so in this case, okay, if you run a program, right, any uh, any global global right object will be created first, then only the main function. Okay, so in this case, I use zero. This is global, and the rest one, two, three, they are 
local local domain right so if i run this program right zero will be created first and then one will be created two will be created three will be created and then that is the end of main i'm going to destroy it last in for sub except for static so i'll destroy three i'll destroy one then i'll destroy the static two and the last one will be the global to be destroyed okay last in first out as you can see right zero created one two three but when you destroy it is three and then one and then the static two and then the global again to be destroyed okay and it doesn't matter where the global object is it can be here before the main it can be after the main right here it will still be the same the global object will be created first even though the creation of the zero i put it after main because it is global so if i run this program you can see that zero will still be created first no changes in the output zero will be created first see right and then one then two and then three and then destroy three destroy one destroy two and then destroy zero okay so you have to bear in mind that uh static is always kept to the end of the execution you have to differentiate between the two differences okay one is the end of the function the other one is the end of the program okay this is the program the whole thing okay so function main is done then the program is done you have to keep the static even the function is done the static will still be active and only when the program is done then only the static will be destroyed let's do an experiment here okay i'm going to create a function called fun i'm going to have two uh two objects here so let's put a, an object here called four Yeah, and then I have five. And I have six. Six. Okay, and I put static. I'm going to explain to you step by step. All right so you have to know that first global will be created so zero will be created right zero is created and then i'll go to main because main is the first function that any programs will go to then i'll create one i'll create two i'll create three so for example i'm going to call the fun function here right okay so when i create zero after create zero then i create one then i create two after creating two i call fun therefore from here 29 i'll jump straight away to 22 then i'll create four i'll create uh this is five and i'll create six okay and after i create six it is the end of the function fun and when it ends when function ends all the automatic objects will have to be deleted last in first out so six will be destroyed first and then four will be destroyed but then five will maintain okay because it is not the end of the program yet so after six is destroyed four is destroyed it goes back to line number 30 30 and then 31 then i create three and after i create three there is the end of main so i'm going to destroy three first Okay, and then I'll destroy one. Then I'll destroy five because five static is created after two. Then two, then the last one will be zero. So let's run the program and see. Can you see that? Okay, in the next video. I'm going to explain to you step by step how this works.